for you, honey. Oh, Ron, how sweet. Lilies, my favorite. I know, sometimes I even amaze myself. What is the occasion? I'm just sorry about the last few months. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with you, and I guess I haven't been very helpful with your job and all. Ron, you know how you used to tell me you always dreamed of having two women in our home? What if I were the younger of the two? I don't believe I get your drift. Ron, I, I want something more than anything I've ever wanted before. I want to bring Mrs. Threadgood into our home. I, I want her to live here. I want to give her the home and the love that she's given to me. You are kidding. I'm absolutely serious. That's why I'm painting the wall, to make it nice. Jen, th this is not something you... Jen, she's a 90-year-old woman. Who's going to take care of her if she gets sick? I will. I, I can't leave her in that home. This is not a stray cat or something. She's not even family. She's family to me. Please do this for me. Ron, do this, this for me. This is absolutely out of the question. Have you told her about this harebrained idea of yours? Not yet. Good. Now let's just pretend this never even came up. I'm earning money now. I'll pay for everything and you won't have to do a thing. It's never gonna happen, so just forget about it. Don't ever say never to me! Don't talk to me like I'm some kind of pet that goes wherever you point! Ron Mars, just because you're stuck in a rut doesn't mean I'm going to live there with you forever! Someone helped me put a mirror in front of my face. And I didn't like what I saw one bit. And you know what I did? I changed. And you better too. Because that someone was Mrs. Threadgood. And she needs my love and care now. And I'm going to give it to her with you or without you. Jen. Yeah. 